The Democratic Party has been criticized recently for its debate stage becoming as white as the Oscars. And today's news is not gonna help. Breaking news on the 2020 race. Senator Cory Booker is out. The senator making that announcement online just moments ago. Today, I'm suspending my campaign for president with the same spirit with which it began. Campaigning over this last year has been one of the most meaningful experiences of my life. That's right. Cory Booker has announced that he is officially quitting the Democratic presidential race. And look, you can quit however you want, but I do think it's weird that his quitting video doesn't look like he's quitting. <laughs> he's out there with crowds, shaking hands. <laughs> and everyone does this. My opinion is if you're gonna drop out of the race, your video should look like you dropped out of the race. <laughs> it should just be you sitting alone on a park bench. <laughs> Or cleaning out your desk. I want it to look depressing. <laughs> but yeah, whatever happens in November, America will not be electing a black president. And you know, Obama must be secretly happy about this. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably in Martha's Vineyard like, oh, that's right. Uh, first and last, bitches. <laughs> I'm the blackest of all time. What you know about that? And you have to admit, between the Oscars and this, this is definitely not a great week for liberals in America, right? Because think about it, Democrats in Hollywood are always talking about how important diversity is. But they're the ones who always seem to end up celebrating a bunch of white people, you know? And this is almost like finding out Greta Thunberg secretly hunts polar bears in a race car, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just like, imagine you found that about her. Like, you're actually <laughs> doing the thing that you tell other people not to do. And finally, some nature news. While Democrats may be worried about having fewer and fewer candidates to choose from, for the Galapagos tortoises, Numbers are an issue they won't have to worry about for a while. And it's all thanks to one hero. A giant tortoise credited with saving species is being returned to its home in the wild. Diego, a Galapagos giant tortoise, is jokingly called a playboy because he spent 40 years helping to repopulate his species. When he started in the program, he was one of two males and 12 females left on the island. Now there are more than 2,000. Well done, Diego. Yay. Experts estimate 40% of those tortoises are related to him. Now he's headed to his native island of Espanola, in March to retire, because he's exhausted. Thank you for your service, Diego. This is an amazing story. This hero turtle <laughs> turned a population of less than 20 tortoises into 2,000. <laughs> Just look at him in the water there, huh? Cooling his balls off. <laughs> you earned it, buddy. And let this be a lesson to kids out there. If someone tells you to go out and practice safe sex, you tell them, no, I want to be like Diego the f turtle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, safe sex, safe sex, I'm joking, come on. <laughs> I gotta be honest, you know when I first heard this story, Diego reminded me of those uncles in the hood that you'd hear about? You know where people would be chatting like, you heard how many kids Diego got? <laughs> 2,000, for real, for real! <laughs> I heard he ran away to an island to avoid child support. <laughs> also, I love how Diego is the hero of the story and not the females who actually gave birth to 2,000 babies. <laughs> Who's running this, the Oscar voters?